go ahead and start without Harry since we're finishing up basically what is a shopping episode. Hey. Yay. Yay for the, yay for the shopping episode, not yay for starting without Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure. I'm like, yay yeah, for ending the shopping episode. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> like, when are we going to kill Old something Jared. again? Oldjar just got his shield, and, like, he needs nothing now. Yeah. Like, Honestly, the only thing I was going to shop was literally food. just food. It's like, <laughs> you know what? Harry keeps losing all the food. I'm just going to buy, like, a couple freaking... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna buy my own food. A... Dude, Pretty you could much probably, at this like... point, I'm like, I'm gonna buy some extra just in case. You could cook stuff on your shield, man. You know what? I'm gonna buy. You basically have a do. grill. You have. You basically have a grill that you walk around with. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I need a a D and D circle K for Old Jar. <laughs> <laughs> Get a Slurpee and some beef jerky and let us go. There you go. Easy. <laughs> I'll buy like a uh, three pound or no, like 20 pounds of like raw meat and, you know, we'll cook it. Up. So I put a couple more questions in there, Jay, um, on a couple more things. Yeah. And um, they I do will... not have a cloak of placement of a displacement. Oh, gone. Those are rather rare. Um, Ooh. Well, one thing I know for sure I'll do is I'll I'll sell my short bow plus one and I'll buy a long the long bow plus one. Okay, yeah, they would actually do that as a pretty much an equal trade. Those are those okay. are valued at the same because they're just a plus one yeah. magic item. So yeah, you okay. can definitely find somebody in the uh, in the tavern that will trade that for you. Okay. Oh, I gotta change my breath weapon. Yeah. Also, don't forget to heal yourselves. Uh, if you have not already, you guys would have definitely gotten a long rest while you're here in the uh, Infernal Rapture. Um, let's see here. Do we do that? All good. Jay, I texted you some questions. Um, yes, yes, you did. Okay, go ahead and roll a D100 for me. We're level 12, okay. right? Uh, yes. And yeah, right. you, you guys are, you are able to find somebody with a belt of hill giant strength. Um, okay. Let me go ahead and look up the price for that real quick. Doesn't someone have gauntlets of ogre strength? No, I, I have that. And so what oh. I was going to do is I was going to swap that out for the, the belt since mm. I, I thought I could get rid of the gauntlets, but then I realized I have this like stupid great bow. And uh, that really only works if I have like higher strength. So for fairness, I do that. Um, so might as well max out my stats. Yep. That's why I maxed out my con. Yeah. So I think you're not stronger than me. You you have what plus five now? Uh yeah, if it gets to, if I can if the I think that's twenty one strength. Yeah, if I can do that then it should be. Oh. So. Huh. It doesn't have it in my book, so let me look it up. Yeah, I couldn't find a good price anywhere it seems very just kind of i think it's very i put the rarity in chat and it's a very rare. so yes the belt of hill giant strength is rare um and they also have a belt of, of frost giant strength which is very rare and is uh 23. yeah i think i mean just just in terms of looking at the money I've got, I think probably just Hill Giant Strength is fine because that way you've got, you're going from uncommon to a rare item. Um, so yeah, to trade up, 
Um, they would value the gauntlet. Let's see. The gauntlets of ogre power at um, fifteen hundred, and the uh, the belt of hill giant strength they value at four thousand. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely doable. Um, so I have. Actually, right now I just checked. Uh, I have fifty-two, uh, fourteen, so five thousand two hundred fourteen gold. So um, I'll make the exchange on that basis, and then update it. My okay, yeah, they trade you the, the item. You pay an extra twenty-five hundred gold, and yeah, that is yours. And then the um, uh, the plus one arrows. So just. Those seem, I think, they're not more than the uncommon. So we're talking like, you know, 100, maybe 100 GP each or less. So ammunition so. plus one is uh, 25 gold each. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take 20 of those. I think that's enough. Okay. Uh, also, that add, does that uh, add like another plus one to your. Yeah, it's plus one to hit and to, and to damage. So. Yeah, so if um, you use that with a plus one weapon, it makes it a plus two. Oh, that's nice. Ogjar is gonna buy. Ogjar is gonna buy uh, ten gold of rations. He's gonna put it specifically in the cart in the demon engine. Okay. How many rations is that? <laughs> well, each ration is a silver. So, 10 rations per gold, and he said 10 gold? Yeah. So, 100. 100? 100, all right. I'm going to specifically put it in the party loot as... And then you want to yeah. know the value of the sun sword if you stole it. Yeah. The so the sun blade they would purchase for six thousand. Okay. Um. <clears throat> How much do they have? A just a plain longsword plus two available? Yes. How much would that run? Uh, 2,000. Okay. Let's see here. 2,000. Just do the math. Long time. Not so. Do you guys mind, uh, Old Jar and Tim, do you mind if I sell that Elven chainmail? No, go for no. it. Nobody's using it, so go for it. All right. So I will... <clears throat> oh, and the last question, on those, that potion of speed, how much is a potion of speed? Uh, 400. Okay. I will, uh, yeah, I'll buy the longsword plus two, the boots of elven kind, and two potions of speed, right, and I'll okay. sell, and I'll so, sell the so elven chain. So 800, um... 2,000 for the plus two Wait. weapon. Yeah, make that one potion of speed, one potion Okay, speed. so 2,400, and then what was the last thing you wanted to buy? The boots of elven kind were 1,500. Okay, so yeah, 3,900 so is what that would cost. 3,900, I'll sell the elven chain for 2,200 for a net cost to me of 1,700. Okay. Yep, they'll take cool. that deal. 
I'm gonna go ahead and boost the number of arrows I buy to 40 if that's okay. Just because sure. sounds like yeah, if you've got the money, you seem to I... have yeah, this trader seems to have an, an endless amount of plus one ammo. Um uh if Ezra, if you wanna grab if you want to grab any of those, I know you seem to recall you were getting a longbow. Yeah. Um and yeah. I, I can buy I can buy some of my own too, actually. They're twenty-five gold each. Yeah. Yep. I'll buy like... another Ten. We're okay. we're going we're going devil hunting. You know, I feel like we need yeah. some. Quality Wait, does animal. does this stack the with the magic arrow? Mm -hmm. mm, it does. If you, if you have a magic bow and a magic arrow, it stacks. Yep. Yeah. That's what we've been told by our dungeon master. Yeah, it just says plus one bonus to. Um, for some reason, it's it's in the compendium online, but then it doesn't show up if you search inside. Uh, mm. 20. But um, yeah, plus one bonus to attack and damage roll. So I had to kind of just you know add it to my inventory. So I, I mean, could you can put an arrow plus one in there, but yeah, y you'll have to you'll have to edit the 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 well, bow we'll... to be plus two, or you can just so draw, what I'll just, you can just drag that. a plus two bow in there. You just call it like a. Well, I was just going to add it. To, I was going to let people know because I'll that way I can kind of keep track of how many I have since it's a finite resource. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So the last thing I had is um, we had this Hearthstone that we got from the Night Hag, um, and mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if, if that was. Something I think that was from a quest, tell. right? I just yeah, know. know. Let's see. So it's in, it is in the compendium. So it's just a wondrous, yeah, it's, it's a touch of a heart stone also cures any disease, so. Oh yeah, so she, I think she had. It's a wondrous item. So. Apparently, I didn't add it to our compendium. Let's see. It doesn't really have a prayer. Oh, didn't we sell the arcane grim grimoire? Yeah, we did. All right, I'm gonna change it. That, and then we sold the elven chain as well. We did. We saw that tack, that infernal tack. So much stuff I think is gonna have gone missing after <laughs> our. I know. Stuff in <laughs> Behold our stuff. Our bags of stuff yeah. just imploded. <laughs> well that's why I specifically wrote a hundred rations in the demon angels. <laughs> You're like, Ujar is gonna be hungry. He's <laughs> gonna keep the food here. I knew we shouldn't have I knew the rabbit shouldn't have been in charge of food. <laughs> We've almost say... starved a couple times. We'll say the the heartstone is worth. Um, we'll say it's worth uh, two hundred gold. Or they, they there's any buy, disease they would buy it but it's... for two hundred gold. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean there are potions that are uncommon that will do the same thing. They're not. Oh, not... okay. It, it, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't we should just keep it thing. just in case. I mean, it's the same as like a, what a level three spell from a. Oh, okay. Well, Makes what's sense. our plan for today? Let's Are we see. gonna set up the trap, Tim? Yeah, yeah, or... we're gonna go to the island. I like that idea. Um, ambush those fuckers before we um, head to the end game. Um, head to Tower of Erm. And you're you're fine with that, uh, 
Ezra? I am fine with that. Yeah. You're fine yeah, with that, Harry? I, I'll take your silence as a yes. Harry lost his vote. <laughs> The axiom of the law is that silence declares assent. So yes. we're good. We're legal. And then Matils, you're fine with that, right? Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> Mateo, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's a rare moment of unanimity. Unanimity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Then if we have everything we need, I guess. And have we rested? I guess we have, right? So yeah. yeah. All right, let's go get on. Yeah, Ezra, you got all the potions you need. I mean, I got I got some serious cash, buddy. If you need, if you want some, maybe just one really solid healing potion. Uh, is there yeah. how much is like an ex? You know, whatever, amped up okay. healing potion. So for potion prices for healing, a uh, regular healing potion is fifty. Potion of greater healing is one fifty. Um. Superior is four fifty, and Supreme is thirteen fifty. Okay, take a Bruce. Take a take a Supreme, man. Why don't you Why don't you take two Supremes? I've got I've got twenty seven hundred gold, man. Let me hook you up. You know what? Okay. And I'll just take a a greater. Wait, Supreme is how much? Thirteen hundred. Thirteen fifty. Whoa. You sure you want to spend that much? I mean, it's I'm, 10 I'm not good at... plus 20. The, it's yeah, a that's huge a lot. Well, it's a Lulu. That's a Lulu. Yeah, that's a Lulu. That's not yeah, quite, no, no, that's no, not no, quite I... heal, but yeah, it's... Well, how about I'm, one? I'm carrying this big sack of gold, and it's kind of heavy, so... All right. so I just I'm so there you go Honestly, two 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 going supremes, hell. two All Supremes right. for my for my buddy Ezra. Superior is still pretty good, but oh yeah. my gosh, okay, yeah, two two Supremes done. So okay. I've already changed it in in my okay. two burrito Supremes coming up. Oh god, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same. It's just they added sour cream to the potion. It's fine. <laughs> it's all right. I'll go for it. Taco Bell is is food that's made in a factory that also produces food. Um, <laughs> like it's not really. I don't know if it counts, but but sometimes I get a craving, and, and you unfortunately have just triggered that. <laughs> Taco Bell get. I don't think it's food. I think it's just. It's something that helps us uh, get digestive. It's a, it's a coping mechanism. It's yes, yes it is. <laughs> the thing about Taco Bell is you go there and you think it's going to be cheap. Because you're like a Taco Bell. And yet you still yeah. walk out of there. Yeah. And nothing right now is cheap. Oh, exactly. Yeah. That is true. Right. All right. It so used guys, to be cheap. So you guys, um, you guys do spend your night of rest um, in, uh, in the lustrous uh, um, Infernal Rapture. Uh, you guys get treated to all the, the spa treatments and fine food. You guys get stocked up for your <laughs> travels. And then uh, you spend another miserable 15 hours driving through hell uh, <laughs> before you reach once again the um, the island with the Tower of Urm. And you see the tower has actually returned. Um, you see a very similar uh, site to the first time you drove up to it. The tower is there and there appears to be a line of devils that are outside it uh, with the very familiar looking um, apprentice mage that you had seen last time. Um, uh, um, walk up and I to him, Nick. Yeah. By the way, I did howdy. get two of them in there. Thank you. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Well, howdy. Ah, yes. Hello. Welcome back. Are you here to see the master once again? Uh, right now, we're just going to pause in our travels. We've got some ordinary fellers who are, have been following us around. I don't know if if you or or the master can can help us with this, but um, some unpleasant fellows who happen to be the numero dos and numero tres um, head uh, bosses around these parts are headed our way looking for uh, myself and and on our distinguished uh, group of adventurers. Um, 
if you would like, if there is a way to alert them through magical or arcane means of our presence here, um, we think that uh, they will be showing up shortly. Uh, but we could, we would appreciate any help if you are so interested in um, addressing some of the uh, biggest narrative wells in these here parts. Well, I can certainly grant you an audience with the master. Uh, he can certainly uh, decide whether or not he's interested in aiding you in this endeavor. Um, one moment, and uh, you see him cast a uh, you see him cast a spell as he points up in a direction, and he um, uh, he uh, asks Mordenkainen essentially if he'd uh, grant an audience to the adventurers from a you know however many days it's been. It feels like it's been a couple weeks at this point, but. Um, Quickly, he hears a response, and he says, uh, Yes, he's available. You can go up to see him. Thank you, kindly. Good job, Tim. Okay. <laughs> I figure powerful people tend to like to increase their power. I'm not very bright, but I do know that much. <laughs> I'm a cynical elf. <laughs> All right, so is, is everybody going up the, the stairs into the, into the, the dome-shaped... Uh, meeting room i'm actually just gonna stay outside by the war engine <laughs> on lesson. the lookout all right i'm at oh, the yeah. lookout did you, guys, did you guys teleport the uh the war machine over yes uh, we yes. did okay yeah, yeah we had discussed that so okay so you spent 15 hours of fuel getting here you'll spend another 24 hours of fuel to teleport here okay onto 15. the island uh all and right. you guys get your uh, scavenger, right? Yeah. So there you go. You can have your scavenger here on the island. Great. Okay, so, um, Old Jar is going to stay out here, and Harry decides to stay out here with you. Right. Not for any particular reason or anything. I mean, he probably they're probably exactly. remembering, you know, how this guy made us fight him last time. <laughs> The unicorn will stay out here too. Why not? Oh. I'd look at Ezra with a like, I've made a terrible mistake <laughs> perspective. Isn't this <laughs> kind of isn't this where Harry uh, helped out his little friend at the uh, lava? Yes, the bone devil. Yeah. The bone devil. Yeah. You guys do not see that bone devil. In fact, uh, looks like all of the devils that you see here are uh, more the lesser devils, mm -hmm. uh, bearded barbed and uh spined all right and, uh, you guys as you uh, essentially skip the line and go up the stairs you do hear some grumbling from the devils but nothing nothing too uh outrageous they just seem yeah. a little annoyed that these newcomers just landed here and are just getting to skip the queue but uh, you go up and you do see a uh, very familiar sight uh Mordenkainen in all his glory, uh, sitting behind his desk, and he says, Ah, oh, welcome back. Mr. Mordenkainen, sir, um, it's a, our pleasure to, to see you again. Um, <clears throat> we arrived here on the island with the uh, uh, understanding that uh, two rather powerful forces um, uh, in this realm have been attempting to track us down. They, they did successfully at one point. Um, we're hoping you won't mind us using the strategic nature of your terrain here um, to bottle them in and take care of them. But we wanted to offer you the opportunity as someone who has is well under is, is well recognized as a power in and of your own self um, with a unique opportunity uh, that we will be the focus of these two groups but uh, a being of, of, of the considerable power that you have with minimal expenditure of effort might be able to significantly consolidate and improve your position in the hierarchy of the lower plant so Oof. mateo looks over at you like what just happened <laughs> Uh, he, he gives you this, this, uh, yeah, this just blank stare. Is, is, is he giving me a thumbs? Tell, tell me he's giving me a thumbs up, kind of under, you know, behind, behind it, you know, he, like he out looks, of. Like... He looks uh, shocked and impressed. Yes. Yes. Me too. 
Um, I'm so proud. So, with that, I will have you make a, a persuasion check with advantage. Oh god, I need an advantage. <laughs> I don't know if I can guide him on that. Okay, well, I'm probably going to need it. Um, Oof. Yeah. But yeah, you can guide him. So you can roll a d4 right. with it. You guys don't take advantage of guidance very much. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Orden kind of says, well, as you probably could have guessed, um, I am, I am actually the, uh, simulacrum of Mordenkainen, but he, uh, he hears and sees everything as I do, um, and so you're, it's a little confusing, but you're actually speaking with the real Mordenkainen through me. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. But point is, um... I'm gonna stare blankly. I will agree to join the you as, yeah. I will agree to join you as my simulacrum self. Um, most most wizards of my renown don't uh, feel the need to overtly risk their own uh, well-being um, unless oh, absolutely we wouldn't necessary. Expect but um, I will need I will need the materials to replace uh, my simulacrum, which is uh, uh, I'd be willing I'd be willing to allow you use of my simulacrum for seventeen hundred gold. To, to aid in your uh, endeavor. That's right. I just used up everything but fourteen gold just a few moments ago. <laughs> you want? All right. You want? If this. you want to cover this this round, I, let me. Uh, hold on. Let me just uh, think here for a minute. <laughs> it's like, would you like the assistance of one of the most powerful beings in all of the plane? Yes. Hmm. As usual, it's uh, yeah, it's it's going to cost you a lot of gold. Um. Mateo said that he's willing to put in 500. I will put in everything. I Let me just see what I can offer here. Um, oh, but we just sold the, got, the, 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 the other stones. I forgot to add in that, that 200. So I have 214 now. I've got basically 400. Uh... How about this? Can, can, Harry, can I'm I... sure, would be happy to help. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, not with us at the moment, I guess. But. I got. Yeah, he only has 200 gold. Oh. Mm. I have uh, boots of elven kind. I'd be able to throw into the bargain there. Wait, you don't want to get rid of those, do you? Uh, I mean, I, I don't. But like, I mean, this is this is like. How, how about this? Um, I'll put them here, and then we can. We will. What's that thing? You go and you you. Uh, pawn shop we're gonna pawn should we have gathered together so far um so we got 214 got... for me you've got 400 from you yeah. and we just blew all of our cash it's 14 and how much did mateo pitch in uh Four? 500 we're at 1100 um mr S simulacrum um here's the other advantage have you worked with some of the warlords in this area no i attempt to avoid them at all costs i let, let me tell you we have worked a lot with a gal by the name of mad maggie are you familiar with mad maggie oh yes yes yeah, she's the uh she's the most tolerable of the bunch i completely agree number two and number three who are coming our way let us just say are the least tolerable of the bunch and Although we are short on cash from what it would cost for 600 bucks, basically we'd be, you'd be not only getting rid of two of the three worst warlords in the area, but you'd be giving more power to Mad Maggie simply by helping <laughs> us take care of these two, which would just increase the stability of the whole area, I would think. What if we assigned a, one of our uh, group um, to guard your simulacrum and kind of and, and protect it kind of as as your direct defender um, and to kind of protect it from from uh, from direct harm? Well, you see, the interesting you... thing about the simulacrums are that uh, they they don't relearn or regain spell slots, uh, the, the ability to spell cast as uh, um, as the regular does so once mm. once i've used it in battle i i need to create a new one it essentially mm. uses all of the magical juice that 
flows into it. Hmm. It is also, if it does get injured, it's very costly to repair. Uh, mm -hmm. At about 100 gold per hit point. But um, Holy cow. at at I, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but at my level of simula simulacrum, it just makes more sense to make a new one, which uh, which does cost a fair amount of ruby dust. Um, I have it, but I'll need the gold to replenish it when I return to the mortal plane. So if you had ruby mm. dust, uh, that would be an easy thing to trade. But uh, mm. uh, Ezra, go ahead and make a, a persuasion check with advantage. You also had a pretty good argument there. Okay. Uh, can I guide myself again? Sure. Okay. So I've been watching Ezra kind of, you know, move his fingers or something <laughs> like that, and I'm going to do that at 13. him, even though it does nothing. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Hey, that is better than mine. Yeah, 17 is not bad at all. Um, Let's say... Well, if it, uh, if it does indeed route more power to Mad Maggie and... Uh makes my dealings here in Avernus a little easier. Suppose I could do it for 900. Deal. Okay. Deal. How much of that do you need from Mateo's 500? Uh, it's 400 from me. 214 from me. Oh, we'll, so just say, only... we'll just say 200 from you. Okay. So, uh, so 300. 300 okay. from him. Okay. Great. Perfect. Oh, that's thank you. We appreciate your help. I think it's going to really, you're going to be glad you did this. This is going to go a long way towards bringing just a lot more stability and and uh, tolerable living conditions. Here. Yeah. Ezra, we just made the intern pay for lunch. Essentially, should I change my <laughs> alignment from lawful good to neutral good? <laughs> No, no, there is still a okay. good end to it. Okay. You just encouraged him to do something Mateo's good. Mateo's like, I oh. think I'm hardly an intern at this point. So. Yeah, I, I, probably. I, <laughs> okay, so 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 I, I don't I don't I don't get the the alignment change from that. I get the alignment change for for being, uh, <laughs> for continuing to do, to refer to him in these terms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. And, and consider. Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, the real Morden kind of downstairs has been casting Scry on these uh, other individuals that you um, that you've uh, described, and uh, they should be here within the hour. They do seem to be oh, tracking your that. whereabouts, and uh, yeah, they Watch. are they are close. Well, let's get ready for them. All Very right. Well. Yeah. Man, that worked out great. So Morgan kind of walks down here, and uh, he, he comes out, and this is rare. Uh, even though this is his simulacrum, you've never seen him uh, come out of the tower, but he walks down, and he says to all of the, 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 the devils, he says, I assume that you're all here to, to attempt to break your contracts, or to, to escape your, your contracts. He says, uh, anybody that aids us in this upcoming battle, I will... Uh, I'll give you the materials to break your fiendish contracts. And uh, these five are recruited to your side. Wow. Instantly. I had a zero on persuasion. <laughs> I feel like this could have gone very differently. <laughs> wow. Uh, but the, uh, the, the mage apprentice does go back into the uh, tower. I don't feel like this might be a big ass fight. <laughs> well, you remember last time that there were there were uh, a few different high level devils, and uh, then the two the two big warlords. And you would imagine that it's possible that they could bring be bringing more this time. You don't know, oh, yeah. but um, they 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 overwhelmed you pretty quickly last time um so you guys feel pretty good about uh about what you have here now that reminds the party that we were weak at that time and you know we were we we're already we're, yeah we already had a hard good fight you know yeah. someone was yeah, almost died earlier yeah that morning <laughs> so he's like understandable but 
Yeah, the the back to back combats are rough. A couple of us got swallowed. Yeah. He looks at Ezra. Don't try to get swallowed again. Yeah, I will try. Okay, so uh, you guys can feel free to go ahead and make your preparations as you uh, as you would like to. Mm-hmm. This is where Harry would have some hair hair brained schemes, one might say. Well, he's not here, so that means I'm playing Harry, which means yes. I don't have yep. any harebrained schemes. <laughs> well, so uh, if they, you guys, if they tell them... you guys know that they're about an hour away. Is there anything that you would like to do in preparation? If there's any kind of, I mean, I'm a my character is essentially a sniper so if there's any kind of hide like a kind of an elevated you know concealed place um kind of overlooking the most likely avenues of approach um i would like to take up a station there yeah you can scale uh, the tower yeah absolutely yeah i mean i don't want to make a it tower i don't want to be <laughs> super broken where i'm like you know lobbing you know longbow shots from well, that's why I'm asking how big is the tower, because yeah. if you're like 600 feet up in the air, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know? I'm Gandalf looking off the side of Orthanx, you know, kind of going like, nah, no. no. Yeah, you're, you're, all your attacks are going to be a disadvantage. <laughs> Where the fucking eagle is at? <laughs> Let's see. Well, why don't we... Uh... The demon engine doesn't ha doesn't it have like it's probably some... about the, at the peak at the very top of it. It's about a hundred feet up. It's not okay. super far, but yeah. Um, one of the other things we could do is we could um, we could place kind of we could use the uh, the machine as kind of I mean as the bait of the trap, right? I mean we're going to mm -hmm. be close to that, mm -hmm. so um, kind of place that basically at the base. I don't know if there's a, there's a I remember there was a map for the Tower of Erm. Um, this is it. You guys aren't on it. My bad. I realize I've been doing all of this with you guys. Yeah, not okay. On there, there was this I'm very so confident, like, <laughs> yeah. So, I would say we especially want to keep Lulu and the unicorn safe. Um, Put them in the scavenger? Yeah, that's what I would say. Have them in the scavenger. Okay. Um, we'd want to. You want have... them to come out? to fight with you at all or more just like supportive spells you know type of stuff okay lulu's got the uh, does lulu still have that wand of magic missiles that's at least something if that's still intact um, yeah we rolled for that and it yeah was yeah um is is this kind of the i mean this looks like a like a, a wharf um, is this kind of the place where people typically come? I mean, obviously we teleported it across this. It's just kind of a little uh, docking area um, okay. where theoretically you could row a boat across um, the water and, mm. you know, and land here and then climb up the side. Yeah. They're probably going to fly because they're moon devils. So there's really not that good of a place. But yeah, so where the scavenger is kind of makes sense. Um, I'm just thinking the unicorn, if we could get him, he's actually more of a support character if we could kind of pull him back um something like that uh, i'm just trying to think these are mushrooms no they're big rocks think. oh okay and it's not an incredibly big island most of it is taken up by the tower or okay. a good chunk of it anyway And, I know, would the say it's roughly 60 feet across or so, and the whole island is, you know, yeah, about 150. So, I mean, it's yeah. the simulacrum might want to be up here. I would actually recommend that we put Lulu up here as well because she can just kind of look down and heal people. Okay. And the other thing is for Tim and Mateo, since they can both get sneak attacks, is just for them to find. Yeah, like you know, hide it. Good, hidden, but... strategic. 
yeah, we're in the same place. Also, um, the only so so you can be on, you can be on the top dome, uh, but if you're inside the dome, you can only see out to the north. It only opens uh, to the north out of this little balcony here. So like you can stand on this balcony and see everything out here. But if you're in the dome, you can't see. Oh, OK. For some... But you can be standing on it. Um, but you're, you're on the top of the dome. So you're very visible. There's nowhere really to hide. Um, but it, it does give you, you know, a good vantage of everything around you and a little ways out. From the uh, scrying, do we have a sense of what direction they're coming from? Uh, the south. Where you had last encountered south, south, okay. south east. Oh, this way? So. Here. Um, you had last encountered them at the wrecked flying fortress, and it looks like they are pretty much just making a beeline yep. from where they were to where you are. Yep. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, More in like that direction. Wait, shouldn't we use the demon engine? I mean, that's why we have it. I, I don't know. Yeah, what are its sort of attack okay. capabilities? Well, you range? guys can look. Uh, you have the character sheet of the scavenger. Oh. Yeah. That's true. Brand them over. The guys who come in. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty... It's the weapon attacks are magical. Um, can, wow, it can... Um, uh, move through space with any large smart creature. When it does, the creature must succeed on a DC 12 dexterity saving throw or take 3d10 bludgeoning damage and be knocked prone. It takes an additional 16 if it is knocked prone. That's pretty good. I mean, we should just have somebody in there driving it around. <laughs> <laughs> Knock everybody prone and let the scavengers run everybody over. Yeah. <laughs> Mateo, do you want to run over demons in the machine? Oh. Sure, if you'd like, I could. I could certainly drive it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put Let's Mateo uh, in here. Why don't we use some of the doubles? That way, they could. Uh, they could be They're using probably, the harpoon. Yeah, I don't think they'd, they'd be able to operate that this for us. This is. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean the harpoon. Yeah, anybody oh, can yeah. use the harpoon flingers. So, and yeah. the claw. The same with the claw. Yeah, you would have to be either proficient in ground vehicles or you'd have to spend a, an extensive amount of time to be able to maneuver the, uh, to be able to drive the actual um, vehicle. But working the uh, the grappling claw and the, the two harpoon flingers, those are pretty basic. You could spend like five minutes just showing them how to do it, and they'd be able to do it. Fine devils are the weakest, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. The barbed well, I mean, devils the... also a little bit, but yeah. The okay. barbed devils are probably the most tanky. Yeah. Okay. We we'll use the spine devils as the harpoon flingers, and then. And maybe the bearded devil is the. Uh grappling hook yeah okay all right i'll stay outside because well I'm a... yeah <laughs> yeah i'll be with I'm, I'm, I'm less you me and old jar probably need to be yeah i think i'd like to be on the front of it. yeah the more i think about it the more i think that like right. i mean if i can only if i can only see that little arc of the um then I think I need to kind of be hiding in the the like near the in and around mm -hmm. the trees or the rocks here. I, I really mm -hmm. thought that that was going to make more sense, but and then the same for Lulu, like that she can be there, kind of be, um, be and put yeah. like yeah, like or, or close to the unicorn, kind of backing people up, ready to support whenever. Okay, well, we'll so. put them both back here uh, near the tree. They'll, they'll actually <clears> be <throat> up there flying a little bit. Uh, both Moon Color and Lulu can both fly. Yeah. Peter will be on the ground, and he's going to surprise him by flying. Oh, that's going to be his <laughs> super move. 
It's like, a raging barbarian? Ha, huh? you're stuck on the ground. And then... Rise! You know, I take it back. The unicorn, uh, I thought, had a flying speed, but it does not. It is it is a ground creature. Oh. I know, we all think of unicorns being able to fly. But no, you know, it doesn't yeah. have wings, so... But it does have a movement speed of 50. But yeah, it is a ground vehicle. Or, I mean, a ground mount. Well, Ojar has his shield, his weapon, he's ready. He just wants to know what way they might be coming, and that's about it. <laughs> or uh, just keep his, his keep his perception up, you know, trying to... Sure. Well, go ahead and make... Uh, I'll have everybody make a perception check. But before that, I'm going to use bolstering magic on myself. A d3. Billy checks. Oh. And that's why I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh. Just feel like... <laughs> <laughs> that was for more than kind. Oh. <laughs> nice job. Not surprisingly. Yay, I got ten. It's your nictating membranes that get in the, the way. You know how, like, alligators have those little extra eyelids they click up? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, they're they're coming this way. And, like, it's kind of like off. off and you're like, oh. And everybody's, like, pointing the opposite. Like, not the opposite, yeah. but, you know, just like. Just, yeah, it's like. I point yeah. north, they're more pointing. Or I point east, they're pointing, like, maybe southeast or northwest. Or northeast, <laughs> you know? Harry has no idea what's going on. All right, so um, you guys wait for roughly half an hour, maybe a little longer. You guys are, you know, preparing. You're getting yourself situated. You know that this battle is coming. Um, and uh, both Mordenkainen and Mateo kind of perk up at the same time. Uh, they they look down towards the south, and you guys all kind of look with them, and you don't see anything, but you do kind of hear uh, just very faintly in the distance. Oh, plane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. In the Fine. distance. <laughs> you hear. Old play. When we first arrived, it was rock and roll playing from the war machine, and now, now it's it's our time. <laughs> so, did we just the lead singer of Coldplay? We see him. Yeah. Whatever his name is. You do hear the, the familiar sounds of war machines, but then they do stop. And you wait. You kind of wait for them to either start up and get closer to where you could see. And then in a flash, you see a, uh, a rather large group. Let's see. Where did that come from? Let's see. You see a large and familiar group uh, appear in front of you in a flash. Um, and you guys are familiar with the concept of teleportation. And you see, uh, it looks as though Feanor has just finished casting a spell. And uh, with that, I will have you all roll initiative. Yes. Yes. Would anyone like to um, take control of Harry? One last thing that I would have to control here. I I don't mind. Okay. What do I do? Uh, well, you Cast will chatter. have him <laughs> in your um, journal, and you should be able to access his go. character sheet. Where is Harry? Oh, Harry. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oops, mine should be a 22. Well, you can change yours if you need. Yeah. Give you that extra one. Oh, whoops. Wait a minute. I, that, the 21 is Harry's. Okay. And that, that showed up. My, I'm trying to change mine. It should be a 22. Okay, I think I got everybody. Terrible. Nope, I did not. Lulu and Mooncolor. Mooncolor is just going to go on your initiative. As well. If you want them to do anything, just to, you'll, you'll do it after your turn. Okay. Um, Just to keep things a little simpler. I think I got everybody on your guys' side. Now for all the enemies. That was just our side? Holy shit. You guys hear the oh so ferocious barking of hellhounds. They all appear. <laughs> Coming from my living room. Where, uh, on Harry's sheet, I'm a little confused on his spells because he doesn't actually have the spell slots very clear. Well, he has, he has, uh, I think three spell slots as a warlock at this level. Or two. Uh, really? He's an 11th level Warlock, he only has three spell slots? Yeah. That's how Warlocks work. They get a maximum of four spell slots, plus their, uh, Mysticum Arcanum. They use it multiple times, or is it just once, like? Well, they get their yeah, spells it's... back on a short rest, but... Uh, and they only have those four, those three or four spell slots, even as high level warlocks. There's a lot of memes about them casting Eldritch Bad Blast again. Yeah, because it's a cantrip. Okay. Yeah, they do have uh, access to the strongest cantrip in the game, though, so that makes sense. Right. All right, so Tim, you get to go first in this whole mess. So, um, part of me of like the point of me being in the trees here was to to be hidden. Should I roll a stealth check to see if that's kind of the case sure. before combat starts? Yeah. See how sneaky and how well you hit. Do I understand what camo is? No, we're doing well apparently, that's apparently that's yeah. Good. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so that's uh, I'm gonna kind of count that as being like uh. You'll get advantage that, on your first it? attack. Yeah. All right. Um. For so every, what I'm gonna for do? For everybody but morning kind. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Now you know my. <laughs> I was, I was teasing about the, the changing <laughs> yeah. my my alignment, but now you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I was gonna post assassinate um, since that's kind of just so you know this. Like since these are uh, count as surprised or they're not aware of my presence. Um, if yeah, I get I'll a hit. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So um, I'm in range, so I am going to actually target the. Uh, uh, I think of this. Uh, bone devil Ooh. here. Okay. Uh, with my first, with my first hit, and I am also going to. Let's go for broke. I'm going to use sharpshooter, and uh, that'll get sneak attack. So sure. Here we go. Twenty With hits. Yeah. Our... So it's auto crit. So we double all of the dice. That's going to be an extra nine. Uh, and then an extra um, seven, so an extra 16 on top of that, which is essentially 16 times three is 48. What are these math powers that you have? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tim is going to uh, take a second attack, uh, a little less strong, but pretty happy with the way that worked out. And... Does a 15 hit? It does not. I'm going to roll, let me use one of my security dies, and 16 is probably also not going to do also it. Also does not hit, yeah. All right, but I'm going to... It got it got absolutely um, 
pierced right in the chest by the first one. Yeah, and you then got moves its attention. Aside and, and now, and then... yeah, now it's uh, now it's it's aware of you and it's dodging your attacks. All right, so I'm I'm hoping that I've kind of that the disorientation of them teleporting in is going to have kind of discombobulated, which is a really fun word to say. Um, them and so I'm going to uh, use a bonus action to try and hide again. So I'll roll on roll another. Step. Right, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. Warden Kainan, what is he gonna do? By the way, we're missing a lot of folks, so. Uh, Who are we missing? Got it. Aren't we? No. Or maybe not. Maybe we aren't. I tried to get um, everybody, but it was there. I mean, admittedly, oh no. there, there were a lot. I guess. Uh, I guess. It's just a bunch of them are going at the same turn, that's why. Yeah, I guess, like, uh, I, I it makes not. it easier. So all the, I think all the hounds, hellhounds are going in the same turn, right? Just to make it faster. Yeah, and the unicorn's going on your turn as well. Yeah. Ezra. Okay. Yep. You can own the unicorn. Okay. So you all see a flash as Morden kind of begins his turn, and then you do not see... He takes three turns in a row here, so bear with me for a second. Fireball, <laughs> fireball, fireball. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> oh, Remember when y'all were skeptical about my ability to persuade this ra this uh <laughs> this wizard? So three, seven, I was gonna make. 12, 17, 22, 27. Audrey was going to make a comment. It's like, why you guys just didn't give him a soul coin? <laughs> He's like, totally, true. Is it yeah, you could have you paid him two soul coins. That's true. Um, so he's going to do that. He's going to cast that. Okay, so um, then as as the flash disappears, uh, you see Morden Kynan standing there now with uh, three copies of himself, uh, which all have the same uh, shimmering fiery shield, and he seems to have uh, perked up a little bit with some extra vigor. Ezra. Uh, I will take a couple longbow shots at... Kovic. Okay. Over there. Let's see. Do -do. Woo yeah, definitely. It's. Hell yeah. How many I? Mm -hmm. All right. Another. Another, oh, and I also get a 1d4. I'm going to use my bonus action, so um, I get an extra 1d4 on a longbow attack. Okay. I don't know if it's on every... Uh, I don't know if it's on every attack or not, actually. Let me see if I can find the... Uh... Mm-hmm. Posted here. There we go. This action. Oh, awesome. Target. Uh. So both attacks get one d four. Then am I reading that right? There's this one. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. And then another attack. That's awesome. Hello? What the heck? Yeah, you retain this benefit until the end of your turn. So yeah, it's both of them. 
Whoa. Wow. What is going on? Roll that four. Which, by the way, since they were both crits, you get the d4 doubled. So you can either double the number really? or you can roll 2d4. Yeah. All, all of the this... dice that you roll for damage on a crit gets doubled, including any bonus dice. Oh, okay. Yeah, just double that one. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, well, you get double for both. So uh, it would have been 10, 8 from the extra, and then um, 11, 14, um, 30. So an extra 30 damage on top of that first bit there. That's encouraging. I'm mad so, at that guy four, for those so chains. Yeah, 40 total. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was really annoyed by those chains from last time. Are you sure you're not a vengeance paladin? Because you look pissed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it for me. He's right, not so fully mean anymore. Bone devils are going to uh, start moving towards you guys. They have a speed oh, of... Do I need to do something for the unicorn? If you want. What will moon color do? What can she do here? Let's see. Oh, how about... Um, how about if she casts Entangle? Okay. So I can go up to 90 feet. So oh, wow. I pretty much anywhere wow. in here. Yeah. So if you put it right in the center, it'll hit everybody. Great. I'll give you center it right here. Okay. Uh, what is Moonbeam's save DC? In color. I'm calling her Moonbeam. Do do. Uh, spell save uh, DC 14. Okay. And that is what kind of save? Doggone it. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, you posted it, so let's see. The strength. Yeah, strength. A creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw. That's awesome. Okay. It's crushing it. Oh, whoops. Let's get rid of these real quick. I feel like the owner is not going to have a super high strength. <laughs> <laughs> if, if appearances. <laughs> Okay, so the third Hellhound here uh, gets trapped. Let's see. Both Bone Devils. Second one gets trapped. Turn it, keep hitting the wrong button. Pick the snail icon, that's great. Yeah. What was the DC 14? <laughs> yep. Yes. Wow, hell yeah. <laughs> you and Moon Color are like aligned. <laughs> Fuck this one guy in particular. <laughs> and the Jane Devil. Oh, no, he actually... Uh, Chain Devil makes it, yeah. Chain My bad. Yeah. We just need... Pelnor and the Ice Devil. Banor oh. surprisingly dodges it. Oh, barely. Hey. And we got the Ice Devil. The Ice Devil is... tangled up. And Pelnor has funny. a plus zero. <laughs> It's still, it's still also, uh, what's it called? Difficult terrain, so. All right. Well, this Bone Devil will start flying, so we'll call it 10 feet after the first five to move up and out of the entanglement. Wait, isn't he restrained? Uh, you're right. This one will be. No. 
So that's 10. So it has uh, 30 feet left. So yeah, it'll just fly up on top and start attacking uh, these these devils that are up here. Spine Devil, which all of those hit. Uh, half cover? Or hmm. three quarters? Let's see here. If it says anything in the... I think it does. Inside the scavenger. Well, it grants half cover, uh, but not against melee. Like, if you're right uh, up against uh, them, then yeah. Okay. Uh, it's against... It, it would... It would Range. Provide cover against ranged attacks. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a good call, though. Um, I, I like where your head's at. So six. Six. And then, yeah, this thing just gets uh, obliterated. This first one gets obliterated. It's actually immune to the poison, but it only has 22 hit points. So uh, the slashing and piercing is enough. And so it uh, comes up here and gets ready to attack the... Uh, the barbed devil it has landed on top of your uh on top of your war machine and now this one is just going to try to escape the um the entangle and it's stuck harry which in this case is you ezra all right uh harry would like to uh up for well i can't control his icon but you can he's gonna no let me uh, make sure you can oh oh maybe i nope you know what i just had the wrong thing selected there we go all right harry will pop up here and he's gonna cast cone of cold and uh let's see here yeah he can hit everybody he'd have to move yep. a little bit further up to hit uh okay. Feanor, but yeah Okay. From there. Blast. So, let's see here. So I started blast. Harry. Um, sorry. Let me find the. Cone of cold. Okay. Okay, so all three hellhounds. First two fail. Take 39. Second one succeeds and takes uh, 19. and takes um, let's see takes even less he takes nine <laughs> chain devil fails and takes 19 fails 39 isn't it uh, they are resistant to cold oh as is the Bone Devil. So he will also fail and take 19. The Ice Devil, ironically, is not resistant, but passes. Takes 19. Feanor fails and takes all thirty nine. Woohoo! All right. Anything else for Harry? Uh, uh. 
Unless there's something I can think of for a bonus action that he would really like to do. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of stuff to look at on here. Okay. Um... Is that warlock thing called curse? Whatever. Hex. 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 Yeah, you could hex some of something. It's a. He only. He only has oh, no. three spells. Well, and yeah, you can only cast one spell per turn, and hex does count oh, as yeah. a spell. So yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So he'll just take a couple steps back. The bonus okay. action half back. <laughs> All jar. All right. Oljar will do the typical bonus action rage. <laughs> so typical. Let's go, Oljar. I'm six. He gets. Oh. Are you? Wow, well, surge. There you go. He gets a plus one. So yes. he's now at plus twenty. What's eight? Six. Seventeen. I'm at 25. Oh, wow. Dang. Your armor class is 25? Yes, it is. That's amazing. The shield. It's the shield. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I get a plus six from that shield. That, that's... And then yeah, that's... the multicolor is a plus one, and then I have defensive fighting style. That's another yeah. plus one. Jeez. Like... Phew. Alright, well, because I rage, I get to move up half my speed when I... That's my bonus action, so... Cool. Uh, 40, so I'll move up. You know what? Yeah, I'll move up 20 first. So, right here... Actually, right here, yeah. Right there, alright. Okay. Yeah, alright. And then... I'll... Jump in into the fray and I'll move up 40 feet, which is right next to the restrained bone devil. Hey, what do you know? Yeah. You know what? I'm nice. I'll move up right here. 35. So. Okay. Uh, as you do that, you do run out of the range of the hellhound. It's um, fine. So it will try to bite at you. I'll be, come on. And now. And it misses. Bad dog. Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, as he's restrained. Yes, yeah, he's restrained. You know, snappy. <laughs> and then I smash him. <laughs> All right. All right. And now I'll attack a. You know what? I don't need to attack recklessly. I'll no, just you attack. You already have advantage. She's restrained. Yep. One, two. Twenty-four, nineteen. Twenty-four hits. Nineteen just hits. Ooh. All right. Uh, put this. All right, 31. 31, all right. And I'll be all. All righty. Lulu is going to cast Bless on Tim. Ezra and um, she'll actually fly up to here so she can get old jar and then she'll fly back. So Tim, so the three of you are, are blessed. Bay and Noel. is going to cast Time Stop. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to see how many turns she got. So same same as Morton Kynan. So third one is gonna be Let's see here. And 
No, actually, it would have gone this way. Wow, how much movement's he got? Well, he'd take three turns uh, in a row, so it would have been moving this whole time. Um, and uh, then we'll cast Cone of Cold at eighth level Oof. for the final part of the turn, the final part of the uh, time stop, at least. So yeah, that'll just just barely clip them, but it does. Let's see, that's well, that's that's like, that say sixty five. So no, actually, it just. Well, wait a minute. No, that is sixty feet. Okay. So yeah, it did. It did just barely get to you. It... I'm hiding behind a tree. Oh. Oh, and it got Lulu. Okay. So yeah. Uh, so yes, I will need. Everybody except for Moon Color to make a um, con saving throw. And Uldra, because <laughs> and she's not, blasting yeah, not, not Uldra, that's true. You 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 move forward. It's like she just moves around with it. <laughs> it's everybody. What? Twenty one. Oh, don't forget, you guys have a a bless. Does bless, bless count for con save? Yes. Saves well, and attack rolls. Not gonna get me there. Uh, Let's see, it's gonna right, be 56 do... damage for a fail. Oh, Tim, I, say 21. I just... just save. Yeah. That's Harry's. Uh, so he failed This too. one gets deleted. There's, there's no way for that to survive. How much <clears throat> damage was it? Uh, 56. Oh, whoa. 50... So I take half of that? Yeah, if you pass. Okay. Yeah. So half of that is... 28. 20... Yeah. Actually, the Barb Devil just barely passed, so he actually took 14. He is already resistant to cold. Uh, or no, the bearded devil. Barb's devil fails, takes half resistance. There's two of them. Uh, same thing. Morning, Kynan. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> now nah, he's gonna use absorb elements. He's gonna save his counter spells for later. Seems like would have been a good counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he caused a total of about three hundred damage. <laughs> Uh, there, there's a method to his madness. <laughs> okay. Like, I paid 200 gold for your service. <laughs> I mean, he could have counterspelled, but Feanor would have just counterspelled him. Hmm. Tim knows who. Tim hates the cold, despite growing up on the plains, <laughs> and uh, knows exactly who his next target is. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, Morgan Kynan. Does absorb elements as a reaction and fails, so he takes half, so he takes 28 gold. Does the fire shield affect Kona Cold? 
It's a good just question. Malia attacks. You know, just melt that shit. The flames provide you with a form shield or a chill shield as you. Resistance warm shield, to cold. Yeah, resistance to cold. So you're right. Give him back 14. Good call. And last but not least is Lulu. He fails and takes all 58 and is unconscious. 56. 56. Well, same thing. Dang. And you guys all lose your bless. Uh, the Ice Devil is restrained and will try to break out and does so. So he will go uh, 20 feet to get out. He has 10 feet left, so he'll get to here. But he did already use his action, but he is no longer a snail. Princeps Cove. Ahead and also try to break out of the entangle. That fails. Aha! Okay, the barbed devils, which are on your side. Uh, this one will walk up to. Actually, you know, they're both. Neither of them really like that, so they're both going to go attack Feanor. See, Feanor will uh, cast Shield. So it's a miss, miss, and miss. That one does. That one hits, and the 23 also hits. Oh, but they also have Mirror Image up. So, let's see. Yep, first one hits a mirror. Uh, second one also hits a mirror. So uh, they only have one mirror left. And when you have, if you cast shield, does that increase the armor class of your mirror images as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The original attack has to hit, and then it decide. Then it procs to decide whether or not it's going to uh, whether or not it's going to hit you. Okay. Or or, or hit a uh, mirror. Okay, so um, that's it for the barb devils because none of those hits, so nothing triggered the fire shield. Mateo, drive Mateo. over Feanor. <laughs> Yep. It's going <laughs> to drive around. Vroom, but... vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Inside of him was the soul of a monster truck enthusiast. <laughs> it can only go a half the distance uh, once it hits here. So it can only get to about there. But still, it flips <laughs> through most. So yeah, it, it, it destroys these two hellhounds. <laughs> Chris Kolvik uh, is, uh... That's my boy! Oops. I deleted the Hellhounds out of the list. Uh, what was... What was there? Just two Hellhounds and Feanor. Well, yeah, they're, they're... Well, no, it also hit... Yeah, it hit Kolsep and Chain Devil, but... Yeah, Chain Devil. Let's see. And finally, it clipped the Ice Devil. Sure, we'll say that that's where the... Hellhounds are. Oh, These the hellhounds, they're they're going crazy. I know, right? I, I okay, just saw so it. The uh... Fanor, uh, I think they. So what is it? They have to make a deck save. Uh, Crushing see. wheels. 
When it does, creature must succeed on a DC 12, deck save, or take 3d10. So what we'll do is we'll just roll the 3d10 right now to see what the damage is for this round. <laughs> just seven, not, nothing too crazy. And then uh, each of them we gotta make a deck save. Wow, he <laughs> fell. And he's prone. Oh my so, god. Yeah, seven, and he's prone. Uh, Povic has disadvantage because he is currently restrained. Yep. So oh, that one! And prone. Chained Devil. Passes. It takes nothing. The And the Ice Devil. Fails. Takes a seven and is prone. But that is his turn. Chain devil. What a great turn. Okay. What a great turn for Mateo. And he he's definitely of shooting people from afar. Oh. He's finally letting his uh his uh, inner redneck out. Oh uh, chain devil's getting close to me, then I'll use brace. Okay. So as my reaction I'll hit him. Yeah, you can use a reaction and expand one spirit and make an attack against a creature with a weapon. Add it's it's not okay. an attack of opportunity, so I'll allow it. Yeah. Okay. Come on. 25. Yeah. 25 hits. Probably, probably did it. Okay. Plus there you go. And it's 1d8. Yeah. 21. That was nice. Uh, meanwhile, he is going to take uh, hit you with two chain attacks here, and misses all this. All right, the bearded devils, the beard with the one bearded devil, is up here. He is um, he is controlling the grappling hook, the grappling claw, which he's going to try to use to uh, grab on to the ice devil. And this is. Well, no, the ice table is prone. The ice table is oh, prone. That's true. Good point. He did get knocked prone. So, yeah, 20, uh, 20 hits. Good call. So, he is now prone and grappled. All right, Tim. Um, Tim's teeth are chattering as he kind of comes back from around the behind the uh, the, the tree there and, and was lining up a shot on Fionor when, when you heard this and then saw the the carnage that was wrecked by uh, uh, by Mateo um, and saw Fionor disappear as he's been pushed into the soft soil of this little thing so he can't actually see Fionor anymore since he's prone now um, so then he pivots and then uh, takes a shot at the uh, Hellhound. Okay. Um, you have advantage because it is restrained. Yes, I do. And you're, you're shooting a dog around. that's tied to a leash. Now I feel I bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jay, you're, you're... What? what? Why are you gotta do that to me? It's, it's the holidays, man. I thought we were friends. <laughs> I mean, don't make me oh, make those man. sound effects. Okay. You get sneak attack though. I sure do. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna get sneak attack on this dog. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Uh, I'm yep. pretty sure that 23 will hit. Definitely um, will hit. <laughs> that's a lot. So 33. No, where did he shoot this dog? In like, in the, like, what part of the head? Did he just explode or something? You know, it's a hellhound, you asshole. <laughs> yeah, 
That is now a pile of, of demon ichor. <laughs> that was a good dog imitation, by the way. Uh, sounds like you're, you you sound <laughs> familiar with it. Um, I'm going to uh, light up a shot with this. Uh, I, I'm leaving Princeps Kovic uh, because I, I know that the uh, folks of God have been dead against him, but I'm going to try to take out this chain devil here. So let's go for a uh, regular shot against him. Uh, yep. Will 23 hit? 23 definitely hits. Check out the turn off. Eighteen, yep. And uh, as a bonus action, can I administer a healing potion to to Lulu, or yes. does that require a full action? No, no, it actually yeah. does require a full action. My mistake. Okay, mm -hmm. can I try to do a medicine check as a bonus action, or is that also a full... that also would be an action? Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay, so I my bad. I you can so action surge. You could action surge and that's true i'm that lulu lulu has been a good buddy to us so you are totally right so i will action surge uh and uh, administer a health potion to her so that's 1d4 plus 4 uh, 2d4 plus 2d4 plus 4 2d4 plus 4 okay 2d4 plus 2 sorry 2d4 plus 2 all right so she's back up to to nine health excellent then all right, and that's all I'm for. If I'm using action surge, then I wouldn't be able to get another attack in. So, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's one. That's it. All right. So Morton Tynan's turn. Um, seeing fan or uh, prone. Let's see. He is going to cast Mordenkainen's sword. Looks and good. come up and slash at him twice while he's prone, so advantage. I don't think he needs any. Holy shit. <laughs> and um, I actually had the cold damage stored up from the uh, oh, absorbed sword. elements. So that would have been, let's see. Three. Oh, whoops, it's actually 1d6. Oh, I thought it was like. So it would have added an additional three, so 40. See, he's not crazy. Was there still, uh, I don't know if this matters, was there still another image of him or not? I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, you're right. No, oh. you're, you're right. You're totally right. So yeah, I did absorb the first one, so we'll give him back 20 health, and uh, he is now out of, uh, out of those images. Okay. But that is Morgan Kynes' turn. So Ezra. Alright, let's see here. Mm, yep. yep. Okay, I'm gonna move right on up mm -hmm. side, on the other side here. Okay. And attack with my sword. Hello. Oh, is it twenty because he's prone? Uh, it is. Oh, does he still have? Does he still have his shield up? Or he probably lost concentration on it, didn't? He? Well, no, shield isn't a concentration spell. It's oh, it's just, not. It's in effect gotcha. until their next turn, which, yeah, it is still in effect because it. I uh, put it up for the barbed devils, so yeah, he hasn't gone yet. So uh, it does bounce off the arcane shield. Okay, ah. second attack. Fuck on it. Uh, and my, uh, actually my bonus action, I'll, uh, run ahead. <laughs> I'll use my, uh, second wind for my bonus attack, bonus okay. action. Uh, 1d10. 
There we go. Ten plus. All right. So this first uh, bone devil is going to start oh, attacking. Oh. Uni Wait, unicorn. Okay. Unicorn. Um, moon color. Just remember that's a concentration spell to maintain the. For the entangle, yeah. Entangle. Yeah. I only think it lasts actually the a minute entangle. Yeah. Uh, so you're. It? Yeah. So that's six rounds. Last whole combat. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Okay. All ten. There you go. Uh. Can she uh do a little healing on uh, Lulu? Yeah, she can come over and get a healing touch. That's All right. Two d eight. Two d eight plus two. two. Eight plus two, fourteen. Nice. So fourteen health. Okay. Thanks. All right. So this bone devil is going to start attacking Mateo. So the 27 will hit. Eight slashing. Uh, Mateo should have been healed up. Okay. And this Bone Devil is going to take uh, three attacks at Old Jar, all at disadvantage because it's restrained. And this is them all. Harry. Yes, I do. Um, let's see here. What would Harry do? WWHD. Yes. Harry will, uh. Are blasting. Scooch up a little bit. Is Fionor still on the ground? Yes. Still front. That means any. That means also any Prince range. Yeah, yeah, it means that it's going to be any range. That's why I didn't shoot at him because I couldn't. You basically yeah. can't see him. Pushed um, him on the ground. Chain Devil, Bone Devil, or the other Bone Devil, or even Dice Devil. So Actually, no, then... not Dice Devil. He's also prone. I mean, the Bone Devil has you will get advantage. He's restrained. Yeah, where's yeah? He'll take his Eldritch Blast shots at the Bone Devil. At the uh, yeah, the Bone Devil. This one. Uh, sorry. Yes. Okay. They do have advantage. He would yeah. probably hex first. Oh, okay. Uh, he actually. Let me see here. So if he hexes, then he's concentrating on hex for the next 24 hours, and you can move it as a bonus action. And then it does an extra d6 every time his Eldritch Blast hits. Okay, sure. He can have disadvantage on strength checks, <laughs> so it makes sure. them even harder to move. <laughs> <laughs> well, to get throw, out. But yeah. It's a saving throw. Oh, yeah. That's... Okay. So can he move? He'd want to hex Kovic. Or, uh, well, no, he'd, he'd want to hex whoever he's attacking this turn. Oh, then he can okay. move his hex. Oh, at the end of the turn, he attacks the next one. Yeah, okay, okay. Then they'll hex the bone devil and then a couple of Eldritch Blasts. He gets three now. Whew, that's really... Okay, uh, here we go. One misses. Do so you want to click on your hex to see how much damage? No, don't worry about that. That's a oh, that's later. That's a check box thing. Oh, um, uh, twenty-five hits. Mm. Three. And that one also hits. Whew, that was a Ooh, good one. Seven plus two d six. Plus two d six. Thirty-three. Plus he gets another three damage. Stupid oh. thing. Yeah. So Thirty-six. That's great. All right. 
Oljar. Alright. Oljar sees three injured enemies, one restrained, one grappled, and one trying to chain him up. You know? So... He's gonna kill the one that is almost dead. So he's gonna okay. attack him twice. Attack the Bone Devil twice. 25, 22. Uh, yeah, so roll damage for the 25. Yep, he goes okay. down. Right, next one, I guess the next one's gonna go to the Chain Devil because he's close to him. So yeah, 22 hits. And for 11 damage. Alright. 11. Alright, then I'm a action, action surge. Okay. And then he's gonna attack twice again with the chain double mm -hmm. uh he's gonna do it recklessly 26 22 uh sure okay. so 26 10. yep and he goes down as well okay and then he's just gonna move up to the ice double. Okay. That'll be his turn. All right, Lulu. <clears throat> is gonna cast heal on Harry. Hey. Doo -doo. Uh, Fanor will use half their movement to stand up. It's gonna cast. Let's see. He's gonna cast a uh, summon elemental. Oh, there he's moved on it. Maybe now counterspell? No? Uh sure. Mordenkainen cast counterspell and Feanor counterspell with the counterspell. <laughs> Is Mordenkainen counterspell the counterspell of the counterspell? Nope, oh, you can only have one reaction per turn, so ah. Mordenkainen uses his <laughs> only counterspell. Feanor uses their only counterspell of the round to counterspell the counterspell. <laughs> Nuclear theory as modeled by wizard fights. All right, the ice devil <laughs> will stand and will attack uh, Oljar. Oljar? You mean Mordenkainen? No, the ice devil. This guy down here. Oh, the ice devil. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. One bite, one claw, one tail. Right, the bite misses. I attack recklessly, but he's restrained and prone? No, like he's one I... of those things. He stood up and is not restrained. Wait, doesn't uh, the, the grapple ice, restrain? The ice devil isn't even... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's grappled. grappled. I don't he's grappled. The, I don't think the grapple restrains him, though. Let's see. The target is grappled. If the target is a creature... Oh, it is restrained until the grapple ends. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's a flat 29, though, or, yeah. So, yeah Second one hits. Well, no, no, he, so a restrained target would have disadvantage when they go to attack. But attack recklessly. Oh, yeah. So, so it'll be a straight roll. roll. You're right. Straight okay, rolls. So, yeah, 29 would hit that. Claws. All right, the claws. So you take um, four slashing because you're raging. And yeah, 16 and then 20. Cold, so 20 total. 20. Ha -ha. And you're, I wanted uh, to get hit. Yeah, your magma shield flares. Uh, hot fire at him and it does zero damage <laughs> to uh, oh, wow. the ice stuff. Weird. Weird. Old Jar is really surprised by this. You'd think He's ice like, devils <laughs> would. <laughs> well, he got hit full on by the cold damage, so figure that out. <laughs> Alright. Old Jar is like, why don't they just call him a fire double then? It was a weird week at Wizards of the Coast. He Kogan failed again! Still just trapped in this entangle. 
Dude, you need to give <laughs> Moon Color some like high quality <laughs> carrots or some shit. <laughs> Uh, both of these barbed devils will attack Feanor again. Ooh. Okay, so that's two hits. Let's see. So that's 27 damage. And Feanor has to make two concentration checks. Fails on the first one. So the water elemental is no longer controlled by them. And Mateo. Uh, Mateo is going to uh, stop driving and start attacking the Bone Devil. It's one hit. Nine slashing. And he'll go ahead and action serve. Why not? That's why you action serve. 15, 24. Uh, 13 and then 22. 22. You're right. Okay. And then uh, as a bonus action, he will second. Well, let's see. No, he won't second. He's not missing that much health yet. Okay. Uh, the Chain Devil is dead so let's get him out of here um the bearded devil is operating the grappling hook but he's already got the ice devil grappled so he's going to turn around and try to attack the bone devil up here and both of those miss them all right i'm going to move out of the veer See if I can uh, get a better view. I believe Fianor has uh, stood up. Is that correct? Or is he still prone? Yeah, he's up. He's yep, up. Fianor's up. All right. As like as I'm walking, I'm gonna like start you know shooting as kind of people move in and out, like kind of carefully making sure I'm not shooting any of them. But I'll go for him specifically, and. Uh, I'll use cunning action to give myself advantage on the next attack roll. Um, so for this one, I will have advantage. Um, okay. It's plain vein shooting, and I'm gonna pull out uh, uh, for both these shots. I'm gonna pull out my plus one arrows. I'm marking that down. Sure. So I'll be plus one to. All right. The sturdy hit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, this will be 31. Um, yeah. And... Oh, well, then no. <laughs> okay, exactly, no. <laughs> um, and so that's that's 12 since that's, uh, yep. since that's the plus one uh, arrow. Uh, does 22 hit? Yes. And so that's uh, 13. So 12 and 13. And uh, that's it for me. Okay. Morning, Kynan. We'll take two more attacks with his sword. Those both hit. And Ezra. I will attack Theonor with my sword. All right. Finish your move. Good. Finish your move. Yes. Eighteen so plus two. Yes. What? Yes. 
Oh, right. you stab her. Stab her through the yeah. back, or, is trying yeah. to or you turn her around, and then you... Takes a couple of big splashes, and uh, and uh, it doesn't even have any any way to defend against you, Ezra. It just uh, gets skewered from behind. Um, you do, you know, and I, I didn't count, I didn't remember to apply fire shield for all these hits. So let's see. Um, so you would take two d8 fire. So you take nine fire damage, and Morgan Kynan's hit um, four times. So uh, that's gonna be. He has a, a server element, so. He already used his reaction. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, for, yeah, for counter spell. Yeah, and then that, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, he takes 36, but it's fine. But yeah, Feanor does fall. And uh, still your turn, Ezra. Anything else for you? Let's see, so... Um... Yeah. Uh, so the water elemental is still there. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and move up. Uh, around him to there. And, uh, I still have attacks. Can I still use like my second attack? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 18 hits. Oh. Okay. I don't know why the six is there. Because you, because you got a nat 20 on the advantage roll. Oh. So it rolls that damage automatically. Oh, we just okay. take the nine because that wasn't a crit. It was just an okay. Um, I will uh, go ahead and. Uh, oh, look who's here! I will go ahead Ooh, and action surge. Okay. And take two more attacks. And. Who? Yep, and those hits for 31 damage. I'll take my unarmed attack. Yep, that also hits. Thing's big. It's not very hard to hit. Thanks. And let's see here. There are more hellhounds coming. Oh, swell. And uh so friendly. Let's see that. What's that? I guess that'll do it for me. Yeah, one second here. Actually, I'll go ahead and use a key point to make another uh, unarmed attack. Okay. <laughs> now that does it for me. Okay. Moon color? Yeah, is Moon Color gonna do anything? Oh, Moon Color. Um, charging stab. Yeah, she could charge in now. The wizard is gone, Harry. Uh, sure. She'll. Uh, let's hop our way. She. Yep, she could that. charge right into the elemental. Sure, she'll one. charge right into the elemental. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. So that would be a horn attack. Do you want to roll it? Yeah, sorry, I'm just okay. trying to figure out here. Uh, uh, get an extra 2d8, assuming that it hits for its charge ability. Actually, I don't think I have access to her, like, okay. to hit. It's okay, I'll roll it. So you can roll it. You can roll it. Yeah! Good job, moon color. All right, so 22, uh, 31 damage. Sheesh. He sees 15. Okay, and so then... Oh, yeah, DC, DC 15 uh, strength save, which will probably pass, but... Um, the, uh, <laughs> the water elemental is water. immune to being prone. It's made out of water. <laughs> Uh, the Bone Devil uh, will go ahead and uh, make three attacks on Mateo. No, Two of those no, hit. No. Oof. There's five, uh, 28, and then, wow, yeah, that's big. Um, Three, eight, 48, 40, 6, 65, 70 total. No, no, it's 46. Uh, yeah, you're right, 70. I got to it differently, but yeah, 70. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, gonna... no. Tim, Tim is going <laughs> to see this and yell, Lulu, go help Mateo. Yeah, Mateo just takes a massive hit uh, from, from the stinger on the end of its tail. Uh, just right to his stomach, and you guys all hear him grunting in pain, and uh, he, he's having a tough fight with this thing up on the uh, up on the top of the war machine. Harry. Oh, Harry, you have an active hex that you can move to somebody. If you would Who's it yeah, your hex target is dead, but mm -hmm. you're still concentrating oh, okay. on hex. Fantastic. I never would have thought of that myself for some reason. Uh, the water elemental doesn't look too friendly. Nope. Um, it looks kind of like a big guy. So uh, why don't we move the hex to him? Okay. And um, we'll start off with some nice agonizing blasts. All wow. of those hit. Three. So first hit is for 23, and it, it uh, dissolves into a big puddle of water on the first hit. Um, it did not roll the crit damage, but that's fantastic. All right, well I sent all three at it, so you can target the you can target the, uh, somebody else with your next two. We're noting that the the barbed devils. And the bearded devil are on your side. Okay. So print, uh, princeps. As is, Mor as is Mordenkainen. Yes. So princeps Corvic, who is, is he prone? Is he just restrained? No, he's restrained, restrained. in the entangle from moon color. Okay. He's been like that for three turns. I yes, think he's going to close He's really move. angry in there. <laughs> Right, yeah, see, it there. sucks. But see, like, the problem is all of his chains keep getting caught in the weeds. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's really struggling. Right. Well, I'll, I'll hit yeah, him. Cor Corvette, he almost killed me once. I'll hit him with 8 and 17 force damage. Excellent. It was funny. I re-rolled the crit to get the crit roll, and it just hit the same damage. Nice. <laughs> all right, old jar. Right. Well, I'll keep smashing. I'll hit the ice double twice. All right. Keep smashing. Just keep smashing. 18, 21. You actually have advantage because it is restrained. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, yes, both of those hit. Nice. All right. 
Yes. I get a brutal. Brutality. I roll. <laughs> I roll brutal. max damage and then I roll <laughs> mid damage. I mean, you know, there's your average. There's there you brutal. go. And then there's brutal. <laughs> 17, 18, 20, 31. Still a pretty good hit. It is, it is. You know what? I'm a. I'm a bonus action, uh, heal myself up with the second wind. Okay. Don't forget your second Yep. I uh, just forgot. Lulu. What is Lulu going to do? She used her heal. She used one of her blessings. He yelled out to her about, uh, healing up Mateo. Um. Uh, the oh, only way she can even in range. the only way she can do that is literally fly up to him. But yeah, you know what? She'll fly over and then come down behind him and uh, go ahead and cast pure wounds for nine. And then she'll she'll fly uh, a few feet away at least. Feanor is dead. The Ice Devil. So restrained. He grappled. Will you try to unrestrain itself? Dun dun dun. Mm, no, he's just going to attack you at disadvantage. Um, they all miss. They all miss. In the middle of this hectic battle, and Kovic we... finally gets unstuck from this entanglement. Jeez. Let's see. You can only get to there. Uh, but he is no longer restrained. He's just making his way out. Uh, the barbed devils will go ahead and step up to here and we'll attack him. Let's see. His DC. 19, so miss, hit, miss, 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 miss. You guys were much better prepared for them this time. Uh, yeah, Mateo, I see you guys got Mordenkainen in on this. That helps too. His simulacrum, yep. at least, yes. Well, yeah. But it's basically the same thing with half the health. Um. <laughs> And a risk to him, which is nice. Uh, two hand axe attacks onto the bone devil. Uh, first one misses, and the second one also misses. Honestly, there's two MVPs Moon, Moon Color, and Mateo. I think they did <laughs> the two best. Where are all the actions. good players start with N? I don't know. Weird. All oh, those missed too. This uh, this bone devil up here is doing pretty good. Tim. All right, I'm gonna keep moving towards the uh, uh, ice devil. So I'm gonna move to about. I don't think I've ever seen an entangle get that much value, especially <laughs> in a in a late uh, campaign fight like this. Yeah. Against things this strong. Yeah, I expect Fianor to get stuck in that but no fan or somehow just uh yeah he dodged it um i'm gonna take two shots at the ice devil all right and they have advantage let's see how they're restrained good sneak attack and the sharpshooter in the first hit and nice all right. all right the 27 on the first big old 27. Yep, that's two. It's a 37. 
Right. Move along. Yep. And uh, that's it for me. Okay. Morden Kynan will step up with his sword and will attack uh, Kovic twice. Uh, 19 just hits, and 22 also hits. For Would not have damage. been a humdinger. Ooh. Ezra. See here. Uh, if you would like, you can. Yeah. Um, you can use half your movement to um, get on to Moon Color, and you can oh. use Moon Color's full movement. You if, know, you, if you use Moon Color as a mount. Do it. <laughs> I don't. I want to protect Moon Color though. So at that point, Moon there. Color loses their ability to attack though. So oh. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I. Just, just for future reference. I can do that. If I you ever want to go that. further than thirty feet, Moon I... Color can go fifty, and you can mount them. Boop. And I'll get to right there. Kapow. All right. You are in the entangle, but that's okay. It's just for you. It's, it's just difficult rough terrain, terrain, right? Yeah. yeah, rough terrain. All right. All right. Uh, let's see here. Do be do be do up. Uh... The repeat of Fianorin. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, that that's your better. fourth crit today. Yeah, it's been a. Yeah, as we're feeling. Like... Mm. Oh. Wait, which crit are you talking about, though? The crit? The crit fail or the crit fail damage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he uh, got a oh, crit yeah, in the beginning. And then he got a. We both double crit on one. No, I, and meant, then this... I meant because there's three crits in that justice. roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'll use a key point to make another unarmed attack. Sure. 17 misses. Do I get the advantage from being on the side, or does that no, not yet? No, not, not yet. You have to, you have yet. to start your okay. turn there. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, anything for Moon Color? Uh, yeah, Moon Color is gonna come up and heal me a little bit. Okay. So I'll let you roll that while I do the Bone Devil's turn. All right. Attack Mateo again. Two hits. Oh, you know what? I didn't make his con save from last turn. Let's see, we'll just do two. Yeah, he's totally fine. Um, but he does take 20, 38 damage. So he's fine, but he's also not fine. Harry. You see uh, um, Mateo at the top of this thing, struggling to fend off this Bone Devil. On does top Bone of Devil look machine. familiar at all? No. What about the dead one? <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> oh no. Yes. <laughs> wow. He, he did look uh -huh. familiar, but now he's a pile of ashes. <laughs> you see the barrel thing. <laughs> yeah, the, there's just a barrel surrounded by a pile of ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Or I think it was a chest that I gave Yeah, him. yeah. <laughs> no, that object I gave you that inevitably almost helped you kill us. Um, I mean, well, he didn't I mean, use a, it. A little bit. He didn't a use it for this closer. fight, at least. He was saving it. Let me get a little closer here, and we're going to... Ironically, after getting closer, do the exact same thing as last turn. Sure. And what's your One target? Hits this time, uh, Kovic. Okay. Uh, yeah, the 20 hits. 
for big boy damage. Yeah, 24. Definitely big boy damage as Kovic yeah. uh, disintegrates into dust. And I'm not usually a big fan of doing this, but between you guys, Morden Kynan, the bearded devil, and everybody, the only thing you have left is the bone devil. Uh, so this bone devil actually will start to look around and see, and uh, it is going to... Um, I'll let you guys decide whether you want to continue to try to shoot at it and take it down, but... Uh, oh, and the ice devil. But yeah, they, they will both attempt to flee. Well, he's trapped, so I'm going to keep bashing him until he okay. stops moving. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and let it be their turn. Do, do this on their turn. That's fine. Okay. Can we ask them uh, to guess... surrender and work for Mad Maggie? Like we, yes. We have yeah, they would both surrender if you would take their surrender. Well, I'm already in a rage. Them. It's up okay. to you. Yeah. Well, well, I'm in a rage, so I'm going to be him a little bit more than, you know. Well, fine. Be if like, oh, John, stop. If you're attacking the Ice Devil, then he would attack you back. He yeah. would, like, he would, like, try to surrender and hold his turn. Um, <laughs> and then it would come around to your turn eventually. Uh, old jar. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. It is your turn first. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it is my turn. That's why I say I attacked it first before. They're they're going to say Hold something. Back. Hold back. And then another 14. So 28. Yeah. So, yeah, they'll both... Uh, they will both surrender, and uh, we'll pick it up there next time. Oh, yeah, so, we're at... I forgot we're early. Yeah. Yep. Well, we're late for we've early. Got a, yeah, we've got a practice to get to, and I know uh, not everybody could play all night tonight. So, yeah, well done, guys. You guys prepared. Good job, Yay. everybody, except for Harry. Uh, Harry did a good job. Yep. You're right. <laughs> I don't blame Harry for the mistakes of the player. I was about to say, you're right. <laughs> Harry is flawless, unlike me. That's okay. We get it. And hey, you know, you showed up part of the way through. That's uh, that's something. Yeah, at least I know what ha what went down. Yeah. yeah. Don't need a recap this time. And you know what? This was my plan to be on this 